Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to try together. Today we are going for Nahal's book Dungeon Master. I don't know how to pronounce the first word, so I will go with Dungeon Master only. And Dungeon Master uh, is a strategy where we will manage our dungeon. So let's go to it, let's check it out if it's any good. So new game, please know that a dungeon of Nahal's book <laughs> does not have save feature. Oh, alright. Hopefully it will not disconnect. I would lose all my progress. Okay, so let's check it out. What do we have? Oh, hello. Uh huh. No. Come in. Nice. Oh. That's pretty tower. For decades, the dungeon of Nahubuk has been one of the crown jewels Nahubuk. of the lands of Fang. Nice. I need to f uh, I, <laughs> I need to hear it a few more times. Huh, that's funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my bitter warlock sidekick certification. Warlock <laughs> sidekick. Uh, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, All right. Aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? Oh, we will have some fun. Scrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> but we do have the most insidious traps, the most cunning guards, mm -hmm. the most dreadful monsters, All and right. the most remarkable treasures. Yeah, I feel not yet. How delightful. May I look around? No. <laughs> no, uh, we we've been renovating. The paint's still wet. Ah, oh, too bad. Despite our reputation being well established, I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, Got it. Yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Certainly. So, about my compensation. No compensation. <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms. Not to mention there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Yes, of course. May I make the other members of the team? Uh, you are well, the team. Well, <laughs> actually, not today. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement. You know what I mean. Process? The clock is ticking, and you're not the only applicant. What's your decision? This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. I'm interested. Not like I have a choice anyway. No one's hiring half-goblins. There's too much discrimination in this sector. <laughs> All right, I'm in. All perfect, right. perfect. You made Perf. the right choice. And now? And now for my next number. Yes? Mm, start working. Get to work, you <laughs> wretch. I don't Classic. pay people to stand around. Uh, you don't pay people. Uh, yes, master. All right, let's see. Where is the dungeon stuff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. I don't feel that was. All right, so we are in the business. So we can move camera and we can dodge or we can rotate. Okay, we can go through. Oh, looks pretty. Okay, what do we have here? Look, oh, that, that's a pretty decent uh, zoom. Welcome to Dungeon Nahal Book. Uh, the dungeon has been in post state for too long. You your mission is to restore it. In other words, make it profitable. As you can see, uh, reputation is currently at 1, uh, which is uh, really bad. Uh, your goal is to improve it, make it uh, the most feared and attractive dungeon in the lands of Fang. Okay, alright, so that, that's what we what, what we are up to. So let's go check it out, what we have to do. Selig Zengda, alright, so this is his room. Beautiful. Watch. My time is precious. Alright. So, this is Zangdar, the master of the dungeon. When the patient goal is reached zero, the game is over. Okay, so we don't want that. And uh, where is my guy? Because that's what we are. We will be playing as. Oh my god, it's not really looking good. Oh, there is another person. Human, poor. <laughs> Beer, and okay. What's this voice in my head? Freyvax. Freyvax, the do, uh, new dungeon steward. In the other words, the hat stooge. Okay. So, and select the minion. Is this a minion? No, it is not. May this I one help is. You? 
Minion have an origin human, a profession cook, rank 8 and a salary 20. Rank 1 Minions, the interns come at no cost. As for the prestige required, we'll cover it later. The Minion gains experience by walking where they are up to ranks. The higher the rank, the more efficient they are. The less often they fail accomplishing the task. Yeah, yeah, in the lands of Feng, the uh, unit of time is 10 day week the circle gradually fills up to over time okay minions die when they run out of health and resign when their morale is hit rocks bottom each minion has specific needs uh these needs are met health and morale meters Master, will decline okay may, got it isn't it a bit strange for an evil dungeon to have its tavern open to the public ah yes well it's a convenient way to make some money but i'm not very good at managing it i see well, it could prove to be useful. Okay. So, what do we need to do? So, hmm? have you finished your little tour? You must be in awe. Yeah, it's yes, great. I, well, this dungeon is rather unique, that's for sure. But, say, uh, how often do you come by the staff area? Never. Never. I'm a <laughs> warlock, not a stable boy. All right, that's enough talk. Okay, so uh, what next? We'll never be able to retain our staff with such rundown premises, master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servant. Oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. 18 toilets? What? <laughs> Those frauds. Hmm. Uh, well, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. All right. So let's build something. Construction. Um, build. How do we have? Shower room. Ooh. -hoo. Trace the walls on the floor where the cost of the room increase with the size. Got it. So where we will put this, huh? Um, build a shower room. You know what? This will be the great place for it. What do we want? I don't even know. Okay, it can be only like this. Oh, alright. We will place door. Select the lantern. Okay. Let's check it out. We will place... Oh, that's not pretty. <laughs> and the furniture. Uh, validate pay order for construction. But for now, it will do. Huh? Because that with time. Time can be stopped. Speed up, speed up construction, show a room. Get it faster done, okay? So let's faster the construction. Oh, nice. Look at that. It's building brick by brick, kinda. That's really nice. I love it. That's immersive. Oh, those doors are not really great. Oh. We now have a decent bathroom. Uh, now, is it? Dormitories with beds. Okay, the Galifax keeps track of the important events in the dungeon. Check out for more information. Okay, so what do we have here? A uh, dormitory room that. available. So we are going Speaking for dormitory. <laughs> later, later. Super busy, magical research, and all that. I think I'll have to put a little slush from the side. So, can I do something like this? I don't know how big it should be. So this is the smallest one. So let's go 6 times 7. And we will place it... Oh, we can't! Oh, alright. So we will do... Something like this. And then we will go uh, and place one across. So, validate room. Oh no! Dormitory, I need bat. That's what I need. Oh no. Okay, switch for the bat, please. Can I? No, I can't anymore. The room has no walls. So now maybe, when it's done. Oh god damn it. How can I do that? Because I, I already made the room, so now I just need to place the bat. That's kind of sucks. Let me see if I can do something. Object 
construction. All of it will be lost. Yes, let's go again. Objects. Oh, maybe just objects? What do we have? Bench. No, no, that's not what it is. So we need construction dormitory, and now I want to just place the bed. Huh? So that's not possible. What is this? Tell me what it is. Okay, so I would love to be able to just add to, towards the room. Maybe I am somehow, but I don't know exactly how. Because, yeah, everything is done. Uh, so, can I destroy the room? Hmm. <sighs> Why can I not place the bed inside, man? <laughs> Uh, what am I missing, huh? What is the missing of this point? That I am just trying to pick the bat? I lost a minion to rest. Yeah, got it. Recover from long, boring day. Yeah, got it. So, we will need to, like, create uh, one more room, I guess. Because that that's, that's just stupid. But it is what it is. We go with this. Six times six. Oh no. So I didn't want to do that as well. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. It's a different room. And now, can I like... Yes, now it's possible. Oh my god, that, that sucks. So, can I turn? How can I turn, huh? Maybe click the middle button? No, rotate. Oh, that's what it is. And we will place two beds. Can I do it? Now <laughs> I can't do it, man. Now it's possibility. God damn it. So now I have more than enough. Validate the room. Now I... Okay, let's validate the room. We will have two dormitories. We need more people. Huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> no <it's> just <laughs> They're just moving the shit over. No way. So, the last... uh Or... <laughs> what they done? Look at <laughs> oh, they just used the material from here to here and just <laughs> left the door. <laughs> okay, that that that's not decent. No, oh, no, no, no. Why didn't you do something about it? Okay, so let's please, please do something about this. All right, this, this clean cell. Yes, sell everything, please. This will be only room I have. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. It's not going well. Okay, let's talk. Master, the living quarters improvements are complete. I don't agree. <laughs> not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. True. I hear you, but given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault. Entirely. But I just got here and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. Well, something... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I think... I didn't figure it out. Someone's stealing my stuff. I thought I discarded the other building. That's not right. Okay, can I like sell? Sell. I can't sell like this building, man. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Ten period. Now I have to pay people and I didn't have done anything. Okay, can I like remove somehow? All right, this. Okay, th this is removing stuff. Good. Good. Exactly what I wanted. All right. Modification will, will be lost? No. No, that's not what I want. And now, come on. Can I do like this and... I don't want to lost it. I want agree. There is no room on the walls. I want this one removed. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> okay, what about this? I can't agree. I, 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 there is no, like, thing that I can, like... Agree to it what's what's going on. So dormitory, I need to create it once again because that's that's what's up. 
And we will do six times six. Oh, that's maybe too little, right? Let's do it like this. This is pretty. And we will place the door here. And now let's do two bunk beds here. And let's validate the room. Hopefully they will like, just remove this one also. Nope. I don't feel they will. <laughs> I feel that they will keep it there. Alright, so we got one kind of room something like this and we will continue forward we have to develop this tavern to bring in some nice Your let's go keeper is gone yet another ungrateful coward i'm not dealing with this anymore i've got better things to do i must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills i can handle it <laughs> so let's see yeah we need tables for customers equipment for serving food and drink yeah time I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. I wonder if he knows what he is doing. Nope. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. Something about it that's feel right. Select the tavern. Okay. So, the tavern attracts us from looking to spend their gold. Each time the tavern has maintenance costs, it's automatically deduced at the beginning of the every 10 day week, just like wages. The number of customers depends on the size of the tavern and number of seats, okay? Select the uh, editing tool and add items to the tavern. So, we will place another, another table, so this will be appropriate. And now, can I do one here? All right, let, let's see, let's see. There is a there is a door, so that's not really great. But we will do one like this. I feel that will be six additional two, four, six. Okay, so one t one table is enough, and we don't need anything else. So validate the room. Okay, we will have only two tables. Okay, where where are my workers? Let's do it quickly. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. There. One table swing for somewhere. the whole table. Okay. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. Okay. Hi, hard evil, evil dungeon. Just have an old lunch Indeed, lady. Master, but we need some revenue. Look, all these customers should earn us some gold. All right. Ooh. What's going on? That's a long way to the ha to the inn. Oh no, he's attacking. Is he? Orlov for debrief, master. Hey, what's with this dull-looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? He is the dungeon swordmaster and guard commander. Mm -hmm. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismo. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief over. What? You turkeys! 100. <laughs> I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I am the guard commander, not a marauder. This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two. Revax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff. Maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. <sighs> Cursed me the bowels of the Great Telefern. I'm so sick of these union demands. Beat it, both of you. I'm going back to my research. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, swordmaster. Sword yeah. Affirmative. Affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. All right, so we got uh, more things to do. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers for- Affirmative. All the right. The downsizing cost so by some the guards. attempt in the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read in Dungeons and Despots. That support role should be outsourced as part of a uh, atomized management of the company's processes. Don't you mean optimized, Ma- Silence! You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. 
As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Affirmative. That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. Trust me on that. Attention, Addy. All right, the Gara room is vital to dungeon defense, plays a near dungeon and trend entrance. Okay, so let's go for it, right? Uh, Gara room, and the Gara room should be on this side, I feel. So how big it So it needs to be bigger. So let's go do it other way around. This too much, right? This is too little. <laughs> okay, let's go like this. I feel that th that will be enough. Fourteen hundred. That's expensive, man. All right. Build it up. Build it up. Each locker automatically recruits one of the more guards. They go about their business until an alarm goes off. When it does, they automatically go into battle. Be beware, each uh, locker in uh, increases the population of the dungeon. Okay, the number of guards in the dungeon are always dis ah, the displayed. The first have arrived. Soldiers, attention! Line up in pairs in the front rank. I only want to see one head. All right, look at them. Look at them. Yes. They're looking decent. I thought that they will look much more like, I don't know. Less than that they are looking. Oh my god, they just went straight for this one. <laughs> they straight for the lockers. Training them. Ideally, we should find a pile of dirt and make them dig a hole to bury him. But, but that's absurd. Negative. This is training through blind obedience. To think is to disobey. Come on, on the double, rookies. Up two, up two, up two. <laughs> All right. What's going on with this one? Oh, you don't want to like work or what? Oh. Relax. Why are my minions so agitated? I can't focus in such a rocket. One of the servants is on strike, master. <laughs> so He's strike him. Thing against his working con I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. Civilians are so entitled. I am not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them if they're legitimate. I don't care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip! Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh, alert. Select the minion strike. Pester? At the beginning of each 10 day period, strikes can break out in the dungeon. Okay, disasters. Strike have effect stressing Zangla, decreasing dungeon reputation. The displayed meter indicates the time remaining before the minion abandons the strike. If this happens, the morale is severely reduced. The strike union always displays their demands, meet their demands at the end of the strike. Pfft. You know what? Uh, uh, you know what? Forget it. Their demands are unattainable for now. Just get rid of this and grade by firing them. However, firing a minion costs gold. The amount depends on their rank. Okay. Okay. So, should, like, what? Do I need to click it? Dismiss the minion on strike. So, what can I do, huh? What? I'm busy. Dismiss the minion. So, should I, like, throw him away? I guess. So, I just fire... Our cook, okay. Out with the striker, it'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's right. done, master. Everything is back to normal. The strike is over. Yeah, but we don't have About cook. time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation while we've been sitting on our haunches whistling nursery rhymes. Okay. 
So what is our we next step? Limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled men. Affirmative. Got it. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated and therefore well fed. These matters are unworthy of a high level wizard. <laughs> They're better suited. Of course, master. Hmm. I'll see what I can come up with. But we'll need a cook. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and bear stew, for example. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, they'll start eating the elves, too. <laughs> Build Ravex office. Place a desk in uh, inhuman resources. Okay. So, the office it is. Ravix office. Where is the best place for it? Somewhere like inside this area? <laughs> like right, uh, right next to Master? That's not really greatest spot whatsoever. I feel like this. Look at that. This is nice. Right? That seems legit. Yeah. For now. All right, and we will do. Oh, this one. Maybe that's kind of like you. <laughs> you will not be able to sit there. Okay, I should have the, like, move it a little bit. All right, let's do that. Let's do it like this. Is it great? Is it absolutely awesome? I feel. Okay, let's go validate the room for seven hundred. For now, everything is working well. We we will change everything now, like. Later. Uh, it don't have to be pretty right from the get-go. Okay, the review profit is potential recruits. Click on the jobs tab on the recruitment. Mosh Osks. <laughs> or Orc Cook. Okay, prestige needed. Our carnivores messy. Oh, recruit. Orc Cook. This is Orc? Oh, uh, what? You don't like... Uh, you don't look orcish at all, man. Ahoy! I heard you're looking for a cook? Well, yes, but I just hired one. An orc cook. Okay. It's the best I could afford. Are you qualified? I sure am. I've been a cook, a barber, adventurer, surgeon, executioner, and embalmer. I can peel and bone like nobody's business. Mel Boots, here to serve you, with a preference for ale. Anyway, do you have someone for your tavern? Well, actually we don't. It is true we could use a good tavern keeper, but my budget's a bit tight. I'll skim my pay off the take. Come on, you won't regret it. I'll turn it into a first-class boozing day. All right, so Mel All will be our innkeeper. I'm here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March. Hop two. Hop two. Okay. So, is that the orc? Ready to do stuff. That seems like more like an orc. Minion info. Click on navigate arrow. Display a page. Okay, orcish trait, yes, got it, got it, and we can keep, uh, like, let him go, but we don't want that. So, he's cooking something, and then we have the Mel, that he is a bar master now. Okay, so we starting to get, uh, in pretty decent spot, I would say. So, look at that, he, he's just playing with finger, okay, on the table, he's doing a lot of job there. My, my mage is just, what the hell? This is what? Cupboard. Mm-hmm. So that's the most cozy place on earth, I would say. Okay, that, that, that uh, there is a lot of space to work, and I feel that there will be several um, there will be several like floors. Yeah. So this is just the first floor. So that uh, maybe in the future will be just a dungeon, like traps and everything, and in the second floor will be some some other stuff. So that, that's kind of exciting. There is a lot of things to go for. Place the carving board in the kitchen. So let's go. Let's go do that. And uh, after that, I think I will call it a day, because we saw 
uh, kind of everything, right? Uh, for now. There is much more to... So this is weird. Place the carving more in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, look at that. How can I do that? Because uh, that is like building a new thing, right? So I want carving board. The, the room has no walls. So that I feel that that's a bug. Because that that should be a possibility, right? We are in the kitchen. So if I'll, if I'll go all the way out of this. And I will click here. Modify. Here we are. And now please. be. What I've done wrong? So I've done something wrong. What I've done wrong? I went for... Ah, oh, maybe I went for co uh, construction and kitchen, right? That was the that was the thing. So that was my bad. What what I need to do is click on this, click edit, and then I'm able to do that. Okay, so no bug. My my stupidity. That's all right. At least I figure it out before I ended this video. Otherwise, that would be horrendous, right? For everyone. Look at him. How he's running with his hammer. Like hello. Um and one hit mm. all right he got it so now we got the now we got everything what we can go for the meat dishes so that's that's exciting master we have significantly improved the minions living conditions and for cheap too <laughs> for cheap and we'll serve them good cheap plunk hard ale and sausage that'll dry out your gullet what who is this individual it's um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. Mm, my patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here, and our reputation is stagnating. Yeah, well, you need to invest, boy, into the business before we can uh, get some juicy cash. Hey, uh, no offense, but your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. All right, what, what to do when we have that? No, it doesn't. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slack. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the <laughs> kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month. Oh my hey, god, cockroach gross and he puked. Oh my god, can you imagine? Mm, it is true that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, we'll need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities and hiring decent domestics. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know they're a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. <laughs> All right. So we will go for the elf uh, servant, and that will uh, clean, right? Origodul Gildegorn. So floppish vegetarian. Oh, vegetarian. That means that we will need uh, another place in our kitchen. Just go for uh, for something else that meat. All right. Recruit. And shower room with in select shower room to view its information. Okay, so that's another construction. Where is? Oh, hygiene. Okay, all right. Keep the room clean. Yes, do that. And do we need something else here? No, it seems. Oh, shower. La <laughs> I wanted to place it right uh, next to it, right? <laughs> Now let's go and do uh, this, right in the middle. Okay, hello. So that means that we got the shower, so we are not getting hang of it, and our dungeon looks decent. It's better and better. So yeah, that will be all for today's episode. Hope you enjoy this one, and if you want, you can go ahead on uh, click on the down below on the, uh, in, uh, oh, on the link, and you will get uh, where this game will be released. You can wishlist it, uh, do what it wants. So yeah, that will be all. And if you want more content, just click on the video right here and it will give you something awesome. And I will see you tomorrow with another game. So yeah, peace.